Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here. Time for another Mallet of Pony for Magic Season 9 Blind Reaction. And today I'm looking at Episode 11 of Season 9 titled Student Council. And it's council as in counseling, so not like the elected overseeing body. But, uh, yeah, counseling. Which tells me it's probably going to be about the Starlight because she is the school counselor. And uh, if that is the case, then that has me pretty hyped because obviously Starlight is my second favorite character. Could only be more hyped if I knew I was going into a Rarity episode. Uh, and that would be cool because, yeah, Starlight, we haven't really had a great Starlight episode yet this season, or any kind of Starlight episode, I would say, uh, so we're kind of due one, uh, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will be a good one. I'm gonna honestly be disappointed if it isn't Starlight, because, I mean, it could be, it could be like the students actually counseling each other or someone else, uh, but I'm thinking it's probably gonna be Starlight. And, uh, yeah, I'm just hopeful that that's what we're getting. Um, and if it is, it'll be her, like, acting as counselor, doing her job, advising students, that kind of thing. And, uh, that'll be cool, because we haven't really seen enough of that, I feel. Um, but, uh, yeah, as usual, don't know anything but who the writer is, and it's Haber, which is pretty reassuring. Uh, he's written a lot of Starlight episodes, most of the big finales that have involved her, in fact. And he wrote uh, Road to Friendship last season, and uh, probably a couple other ones uh, here and there. And uh, it just seems to know her character pretty well. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Provided this is the Starlight episode, good sign with him on it. Uh, anyway, all I really gotta say, let's go ahead and get this started. Here we go. There we go, Star Trek's right at the bat. I approve. You could use a break. Oh, picnic time. <gasps> Trixie, this looks amazing, oh. but my job doesn't really seem like work. Oh, oh no. Oh, speaking of... Oh, come on. <sighs> Skipping on on your date with Trixie? That's not cool. Sure, nice. Being counselor for the students at Twilight School of Friendship is demanding, but... Oh. Oh, one oh I see where this is going. Right. Being able to use the experiences of my checkered past to help young students is <laughs> pretty great. Who checkered help? past. Mm, thanks. Of course, I feel nothing but admiration for the work you do, but it is a little all-consuming, and I miss spending time with you. Aww. What are you talking about? We're spending time right now. Well. Oh. Mm, hold on, thought. <laughs> Sorry. I cast a spell on the door to my office, so this bracelet goes off whenever there's a knock. Yeah, no yeah. Yona's having the worst time with her braids lately. Oh, gotta make anyway, time for Yona. You were saying? But, uh, Trixie feeling pretty slighted here. <laughs> okay, so, is this gonna be a Star Trek episode? Am I that blessed? <laughs> I used to wonder what friendship could be. <laughs> Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. Do you know you're all my very best Respect oh. my younger cousins' decisions to stay sea ponies, but they've never been on dry land. Preparing for a visit with them is almost as much work as the research assignment. Oh, oh god, how would you describe the story? Busy here, who live in water so far. I've got warm and steamy. Actually, steam has water in it. Silver stream, there are a lot of students who want to see me today. I just need a few shower adjectives that don't rely on the wet part. Um, well, there's clean, relaxing, um... Relaxing? I don't know. A nap's relaxing, too. Warm and clean are okay. Wow. I have to give this some more thought. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm here to help. My door's always open. Except for today, oh. of course. Okay. Trixie, uh... <laughs> if we leave now, we can finish everything before sundown. Trixie, Were all those even students here? Leave? Some it's of them look... spring break. 
I don't know. Twilight and the others have already left to celebrate the spring solstice in Canterlot, okay. and I have to help the students with any issues before they head home for the holiday. Okay. Yeah, like this guy. I, I. I know you're busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about the spring solstice. Sounds fun. The party Maud and Mudbriar are throwing. Oh. Sunburst is coming to town. Oh. Just you everyone. and I promise to make the cake. <laughs> <laughs> How could I possibly? Forget? Yeah, these two are totally dating. I um. Wow. So possessive, Trixie. No pony is saying your job isn't important, but plans you make with your friends are important too. <sighs> I know. I'm yes, sorry. Starlight. I shouldn't have forgotten. Obviously, I need to be available to my students, but that doesn't mean I can't help with all the things we have to do. Good. Great. <laughs> so, what are all the things we have to do? Hmm. Mod needs streamers for the decorations. Okay. Sunburst wants us to pick up a genuine pre-equestrian. Mod could probably just ask Pinky. From the that would. Shop. Of course he does. Wow. Mod Briar wants a bouquet of flowering sticks, whatever that means. And I thought we were both flowering looking forward sticks? to Mrs. Cake teaching us the secret recipe to her famous spring solstice cake. Oh, I totally am. <laughs> but we could just buy a cake from her. Right? Oh. We could. But then we'd miss out on baking together. <laughs> Plus the time I spent hiring and convincing. This is amazing. Baking her to share the recipe would be for nothing. And we promised to make a cake, not buy a cake. And the great and powerful Torexi keeps our promises. Wow. Okay. Why don't we just split up these jobs? I'll get the streamers and the chafing dish. You. Oh. Get started on those sticks and I'll be right back. Wow. <laughs> you know, why don't I just hang on to this? Wouldn't want to forget the things I just said I'd take care of. Because I am totally going to take care of them. Could it be Plum Blossom? I have no idea. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Rose, but I need a bouquet of flowering sticks set. I thought I was getting the flowering sticks. Uh, I'm still not exactly sure what they are. <laughs> no one is. Right, got it. You get the sticks, I'll get the streamers. Right after I take care of what I'm sure is an even smaller student problem than the last one. <sighs> oh. I mean, that would probably work. <laughs> I think I have oh God, a shower thing under control. But I Don't you know what you're doing? Describe a towel. Now, Smolder, I understand oh. the school can be a bit drafty, but that doesn't mean you can breathe fire anywhere you want. Oh, God. What do you mean, Trixie already picked up Sunburst's genuine pre equestrian Equinox chafing dish? That was my job! I think. Wait. Oh, God. Was it? Starlight, get it together. I mean, yeah. you have a lot going on, but. Oh. Oh. Bacillus, it's perfectly normal for a changeling to struggle with identity issues. <laughs> That's great. When you're done, I need some synonyms for the word dry. Or really just help explaining the concept. Oh, wait, Mrs. Cake! You can't close. Trixie and I need to learn the recipe for your Equinox cake. Oh, it's fine, dear. Trixie was already here. I told her everything oh. she needs to know. What? No! Great and powerful Trixie might keep her promises, but the busy and distracted Starlight sure doesn't. I promised to help her today, and I haven't done a single thing! Oh, that does sound hard, dear. And I'm not quite sure how to tell you this, but your hope is glowing. <laughs> yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, oh god. <laughs> It's the one place I knew I could find you. I am so sorry about today. I'm just so busy. I know. Obviously, your students are more important than your friends. That's not... Starlight, you have a minute? <sighs> Actually, Silverstream, I don't. Besides, I need to lock up the school for the holiday, and it's time you caught the train home. 
I'm sure a smart and capable student like you can figure out the solution to any problem over the break. But for now, the counselor's office is closed. There we go. Aw, I mean... I have a Kind of need to, though. Gotta put your hoof down. Is this kick supposed to be so sharp? Um... I mean, it looks really... interesting? Technically, it's not symmetrical <laughs> or guy. aesthetically pleasing. Maybe it's not uh -huh. the cake, but we made it together, uh -huh. and that's what counts. Uh -huh. I'm glad you brought it, and everything so else. So much ship. Oh, wow. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. This is going to tell. be the most perfect party ever. And with all of your students home for the holiday, I won't have to worry about you being summoned to your office in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Nothing is gonna take me away from this party. Hello, Starlight. Oh, oh no! Starlight? You never say that. Sorry, this is a private cavern. Is Starlight here? I was told she'd be here. What's wrong? I'm Terramar, Silverstream. Oh yeah, yeah, this guy. I've been looking all over for you. Silverstream is missing. Oh god. Well, I mean, I don't understand. Silverstream didn't come home? Mm, mm. I was supposed to meet her at the Mount Eris train station, but she never showed up. It's a long way between Ponyville and Mount Eris. She could be anywhere. Our parents are leading teams of hippogriffs and sea ponies searching the land and sea between here and our home. They sent me to check the school. But the school's closed. All the students are gone. Are you sure? I know she had a big project due for Twilight. Do you think she might have stayed to finish it? She never told me about a project. Oh. Well, to be fair, you closed your office the last time she came by. Really? Huh? What kind of counselor turns away a student wow. with a problem? The kind with too much on her plate. Starlight has always gone out of her way for her students. And I mean always. <laughs> Wait a Except apparently when throw matters. that shade. This is all my fault. You all go back to the party. Terramar and I will check the school. We'll find your sister. I should have known it couldn't last. Party perfection is more of a pinky thing. Mm -hmm. mm. I wasn't going to say anything, but these flowers are just glued on, so wow. technically, it wasn't perfect already. <laughs> That's probably not important. <laughs> At least you realize that. You check the grounds and I'll look inside. Silverstream? No! Um. Yeah, I'm sure she'd be in the party cannon. Bookshelf. Any creature? Maybe check the treehouse? The. She's not down here. I don't see her anywhere. Did you check her room? I mean, that's a good place too. Well, mm -hmm. she's not here. No, she isn't. But look at this. A cockatrice? Oh. Could that be what her project was on? Well, that seems kind of dangerous. You don't think she went into the Everfree Forest to find a cockatrice by herself, do you? I don't know, but I'm going to find Never out. Never a good idea. I mean... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, what are you all doing here? We came to help. We couldn't let you handle this alone. Technically, she wasn't alone. But we want to talk <laughs> on you. Thanks. All of you. But the students are my responsibility. I'm the one who didn't do my job when it actually mattered. I um, might share a bit of the blame for pressuring you into leaving work early. <laughs> but I don't want to ruin your party. We can still have a party. A search party. Okay. We'll talk about all this That's uh, <laughs> some great Street mod comedy. <laughs> we think she went in to do research on cockatrices. What? The gaze of the cockatrice is known to petrify any who dare to cross its path. Yeah. And the reptilian I mean... birds are elusive and solitary. Where would we even start? I have a lot of experience telling ponies that I have experience with the dangerous creatures. <laughs> me. That was such a tricksy line. Um. 
yeah, cockatrice. I mean, even Twilight got caught by one once. So, um, definitely dangerous. The great and directionally astute Trixie says we go left. The moon. Trixie? I mean, I would more expect mod or well, basically We're just mod. Just here. To... Trixie, do you have any idea how to find a cockatrice? No, but usually when there's a dangerous creature in the forest I don't want to meet, this is how I meet them. Um, we might need a more concrete plan. Yeah. Suit yourself. Um, according to Silverstream's research, the cockatrice prefers rocky terrain and ample shade. Rocks and shade? I can't imagine where we'll find that in a forest. Actually, rocks aren't the most hospitable environment for shade trees. Technically, oh. pine trees like Pinus Kembra or Pinus Sylvestris can grow from narrow crevasses or cracks in a rocky rhizosphere. You complete me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm appreciating Mudbriar more in the second episode of his. You said they were solitary! They are! This must be some kind of migration! Well, at least there's no sign of Silverstream. I can't imagine getting caught in the middle of that flock. It's just lucky we're all over here and they're all over there. Oh god. Technically? Don't even say it! Wow. You do. Don't look at them. Yeah. Their gaze can turn you to stone. So what do we do? Three of them. <laughs> wow. Wow. Sunburst! Oh. Stop! It's me! The starlight! I'm so sorry. We have to get out of here. I know. Hang on. We can't leave. Silverstream might still be in the forest. Stay here. I'll get the others. Be careful! Oh, wow. <laughs> A lot of them. The clucking is coming from everywhere! The great and powerful Trixie fears no luck! Mm -hmm. Come on! Gotta... <sighs> Gotta protect the white through there, Starlight. Oh, mod. Oh. Mod. Well, you got one of them. Of here. I'm... I'm not leaving him. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, uh. Mud Briars. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I didn't think I could love him. Anymore. Exactly. We've got to get out of here. But we haven't found Silverstream. We can't leave yet. That was perfect. I, uh. We can't stay here. Come on. I was going to say. Maybe she'll like him more that way, but <laughs> they already went there. <laughs> oh. oh. Wow. There we go. Yeah, that's where she's going to be. Silverstream found a good place to hide. There could be hundreds more cockatrices on the way. If this really is a migration, it'll take a full lunar cycle to complete. Oh, I have to get word back to our parents that Silverstream could be surrounded by those terrifying birds! And as handsome as Mudbriar is now, we should probably catch one of them to turn him back to normal. Ugh, this is all my fault. I'm never taking time off for my counseling duties again. Aww. That seems a little extreme. Really? <laughs> I 
holiday celebration. So <laughs> you deserve a break, Starlight, family, honestly. And you'd all be enjoying Just, mom's this is party. Unfortunate. Instead, my student is missing. We're surrounded by a flock of petrifying chicken snakes, <laughs> and Mod's boyfriend was turned into a hunk of rock. You got the hunk part right. <sighs> wow. And to top it off, we have no idea if Silverstream even came to Everfree at all. But I have no idea where else to look. She's gonna be right there. Has that always been there. What? Oh, they don't know about oh, this, do that's they? That's the student's treehouse. Apparently, it grew from I the mean, tree of harmony and. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. That should have been the first place. We you, you think? You think? Oh. Oh wow. Oh. Aww. This is Edith. She's helping me with my project. Okay. I don't understand. After you encouraged me to solve my own problem, I decided to get my project done before I left. That I way see. I really you could have told someone about that, though. I mean, closed, give them, so I came here. give them some notice. Why didn't you tell anyone? <laughs> Mom and Dad are worried sick. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Once Edith volunteered to help, I guess I lost track of time. Cockatrices are really friendly if you know how to interact with them. <laughs> I can't believe you figured out how to trigger her nesting response. <sighs> they are sure. really fascinating creatures. Did you know that they migrate to the Everfree Forest once a year? Can you imagine what would happen if you stumbled on a whole flock of these? Oh, wow. I have a few ideas. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I'm sorry you got turned to stone looking for me, but I'm glad Edith was able to turn you back. How do you tell the difference? <laughs> I have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> I will always be a stick pony. But the experience has given me an even deeper appreciation for the density and permanence of rock. Swoon. Silverstream and I should get going, but I wanted to thank you for everything you did to help find her. I just wish I hadn't abandoned her in the first place. Starlight, you didn't abandon her. I might as well have. And even though it turned out all right, things could have been a lot worse. You can't be expected to supervise your students every second of every there day. There you go. I'm not so sure. I like that you're always available, but it kind of makes it okay to come to you with stuff that maybe isn't super important. You think? I'm glad you're aware of that, Silver Stream. Being a school counselor is a big responsibility, but always being at work isn't fair to any pony, especially me. Do you think mm -hmm. if especially. I had set times to see me, it might help you decide what you I really mean... need to talk about? <laughs> to be honest... You really weren't very helpful with the other stuff anyway. Wow. Yeah, I, wait, what? Happy spring solstice. The silver stream I guess just wants someone to talk to. Piece of Mrs. Cake's famous um petrified dessert. You had me at petrified. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I'm sure model like it. Well, that was great. That <laughs> was Uh Yeah, that was everything I wanted. <laughs> um, yeah, probably my second favorite episode of the season, after Frenemies. <laughs> I just <laughs> that was uh, that was just fun, and uh, I just they're really going for it with that Star Trek. I mean, <laughs> kind of like, I mean, I mean, in light of the comments about the Rare Jack and the Equestrian Girls stuff lately, um, this feels kind of similar, I think. I mean, it's, it's pretty hard to read this as, <laughs> like, I mean, just their whole relationship, it is so, uh, just... The way Trixie reacts to everything, it, 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 it's like they're married. <laughs> it's like really just weird <laughs> and amazing. And uh, yeah, just the whole argument here, it, it really did feel like something a bit more than just, uh, 
<laughs> just normal friendship. Um, and it, it was a complicated situation. I like how we kind of acknowledged all aspects of it. Uh, that Scarlet did have a job and she couldn't neglect it, but at the same time, uh, it wasn't really fair to her to be expected to be there constantly for every little thing. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, an interesting, uh, situation for sure. But, um, uh, none of this part where Starlight <laughs> puts her arm over Trixie and they just kind of, and just kind of draws her in and <laughs> just so... <laughs> And just the whole idea that Trixie is so, uh, that, uh, making the cake together is so important to Trixie is just adorable. This ship is, uh, is kind of amazing. And, uh, speaking of which, I, I actually do, I think, really like, uh, <laughs> Mod and Mud Bram, where they really played into it and made it pretty, pretty just hilarious for the most part. I mean, uh like i don't know it just worked i felt felt i mean I'm, i i guess i'm like uh it's happened now i was a bit mixed with uh mod uh hooking up with anyone when it happened but now it, it, it's a thing i've gotten used to the idea so i can accept it and appreciate the humor they're bringing out of it and uh and uh, Mudbrayer, he seemed to have a, a bit more awareness, I felt. Like, uh, he would dial it back once he realized he was uh, <laughs> kind of speaking out of turn. And uh, I think that goes a long way. Uh, and uh, yeah, Sunburst was also there. Uh, and yeah, it was good to see uh, Silverstream's brother again. And actually get to see him interact with Silverstream at least a little bit. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, uh, about Silver Sp Stream, her, her uh, I mean, the one time it's actually something important is the time she gets sent away. Like, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it is also her fault there that she didn't tell anyone. She just went off on this dangerous, potentially, uh. Yeah, potentially really dangerous um uh, like assignment but uh didn't tell anyone about what she was doing that's uh it's not really cool you gotta you gotta do better silver stream making starlight look look bad uh <laughs> but uh yeah this was just this was just fun i mean all the character interactions starlight and trixie <laughs> The relationship is the best, and, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was just a fun episode pretty consistently. I, I really, really like this one. Um, yeah, <laughs> just going through it a bit. <laughs> it was, it was, it was really good. Um, so there we go. Second favorite episode so far this season um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, Frenemies, hard to top that, but I think this does, uh, beat out Sparkle 7 for me, and, uh, which would, would pro previously, uh, prior to this, be, would, would have been my second favorite, uh, even though I did also really like She's Um, but that drops to number four, this is second, and it was really, really fun. Um, that's, that's the power of ship, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you liked the reaction. Let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.